Hey guys, Ryan Jr. bringing us a of commentary. This is gonna be the first set between C and Free in the Honda Daito MSL round of 16. And uh, I might be uber excited for some other ones, but I think overall this is the ones that this is the set where people have the most hope. Because people, I think most people are going to root for C here, who, speak of the devil, is at the upper left-hand corner in white with his hair looking kind of funky <laughs> because of the uh, headset on his head. Or the, yeah, so we're going to have free at the bottom right in position in blue as the Protoss player. He's got, this is on odd eye too. And I think a lot of people are rooting for C just because him this far, I mean, beyond, I don't think I've ever seen him beyond a round of 16 in a, in a Star League. I don't think I have. I do not think I have. So everybody, I think, or most people are hoping that he gets to, he can beat free here and get into the, in a best of five situation where nobody is, I've never seen him there. So I want to see how he performs. But first I'm going to do some sinking. 51, 52, 53. Just hoping here that C does not fall under pressure. If C gets beat, I hope he gets beat because he's beat straight up. Not because he, you know, is feel feels under pressure and feels he can't handle it and just loses to nerves. I really hope that's not the case. Unfortunately for him, he knows how many people are rooting for him and hope that he makes it further in this. So hoping it does not have a bad effect because at the same time, you know, when you have all these supporters and have all these fans and your team and your coach, all of them supporting you, you either fall under under the pressure, just, you know, fold and don't, don't manage to do much, or it strengthens you. And C is that kind of player that gets strengthened by his team. That's why he plays so well in Pro League. That way he, That's why he plays so well when his team is behind him. Free on the opposite side, he is also a very solid player, a very good player, um, a very consistent player. He had a bad year in 09, but he's really recovered lately i gotta say and he's played very well kind of go for a quick nexus here 12 next before anything else we're gonna see i haven't seen c put down any barracks either actually is he is he no okay yeah oh 14 cc nice two player map and both players go for fast expos how awesome is this <laughs> oh this is hilarious i got i gotta say this is absolutely hilarious uh, barracks and gateway up respectively so on the way respectively so this is going to be very interesting this could turn out to be an absolute insane macro fest but you don't know <laughs> oh god see that boy is sweating man he is constantly wiping his hands with his mouse uh, obviously sweating and feeling a bit nervous hope it does not you know affect him adversely but also going to force that probe back and i still still don't think he sent out a scout actually i don't think he's actually sent out a scout yet i think he's just not yes just not sending out a scout does not know yet that free one for exactly the same thing he did so we're going to see whether he tries to play uber careful but when he's going to spot that he's going to know he's going to be in a good position just play economically play a strong economic game do not you know do not you know do anything silly like getting your gas stolen which he didn't good boy uh, let's see, Sabrina's crawl on the way now for free. Free probably not thinking he saw that 14 CZ, but he's not going to try to uh, switch up his his uh, 12 next build into some heavy pressure. He is going to be the one that has to do some damage, though. Almost picking off in his CV there. Wow, nice nice play there from him. One CV, heavily damaged. He needs only one more shot on, on him to, to get killed there. We're going to see what he tries to repair there. Just uh, try to rush it. So, yeah, just going to block, block that probe off and... Rush the ACV to the safety of his own base. Gonna go in the opposite. Gonna spot the economic position. Has one Marine in there as well to force that pro back. But see, now gonna get the full scout as well. Meanwhile, he forced. Gonna spot the two gateways on the way. So we're gonna see whether they're gonna be some nice um, pressure. I don't think I've seen a Zealot out there for him yet. So we're gonna see what he tries to actually uh, go from this uh, build into a Dragoon build, a heavy Dragoon build, and try to put on some pressure with Dragoons in range alongside that. But see, at the very least for him, he's going to be able to keep that scout. Uh, I think there's going to be Dragoon coming out, so he's not going to be able to keep it all around for too much longer. He needs to go down there and spot that range. Um, unless he's already spotted that, not altogether true. He's going to go down there, going to spot the range. This, I don't think this is a fake out, actually. Three Marines back at home to defend. I don't think there's going to be much to help, really. Two factories on the way for C, so he's going to have some pretty decent amount of forces as long as he manages to get those up. Meanwhile, he might want to think about putting a bunker at the front as well, because only having a few Marines to fight back is not a real too good, too good position. Meanwhile, SCV is out there spotting that. Spotting there could be some uh, ranged pressure coming from him. There's a little of a doom coming up as well. 
So I'm still not sure what is going to be a fake up for free. Might actually suddenly, just suddenly decide to switch up into Dark Templar. Not altogether too sure. Might still just overall go for Dark Templar. Finally going to CC put down. Uh, CC? Okay. Finally, yeah, finally going to CC. Dear God, just confusing me every time I say that. But I'm going to see him put down that bunker at the front, so it's going to help him defend against the Dragoons. Range, of course, going to kick in, so that's going to make that obsolete a bit, but still you want that additional uh, support. As soon as he has a tank out there, it's going to help out as well. Dragoons not going to manage to do much uh, at the moment, but of course, if C manages just pulls a few, uh, if C just pulls a few SCVs off the line to help against the Dragoons, to just repair the bunker, he's still going to be able to keep up defense up for now. Ha had two machine shops on the way, so he's just going to start mass-producing tanks right away, and a couple of tanks are going to be able to help him fight this back Dragoon. Uh, testing his luck there. Dark, ooh, Dark Templar in hidden position there. So I think Freeze actually going to go for some DTs. Uh, probably going to go for some sort of DT action, DT rush in there. So just hoping now for C that you know to counter this that he has an eBay going or he has an academy going because if he gets, he could get seriously damaged and crushed by TTs if he doesn't get himself ready for this. As long as he doesn't you know forget what he's doing, 